Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, I'll be doing a mock draft in the event that Uri Slavkowski gets selected first overall by the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Bob McKenzie has come out and ranked him number one, so let's see what would happen if Slavkowski goes first. Before we start the video, please subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. All right, like I said, the Montreal Canadiens select Uri Slavkowski from TPS first overall. So, of course, he is a big man at 6'4", 218 pounds, a power four with a wicked shot. NHL Central Scouting has him ranked number one for international skaters. And like I said, TSN Bob McKenzie has him at number one as well now. FC Hockey has him at three, Sportsnet at three, McKean's Hockey at three, and Elite Prospects at three. So if Uri Slavkovsky goes first overall, well then who goes second to the New Jersey Devils? But wait, we have a trade to announce. Here are the details. So New Jersey trades their second overall in 2022 and a roster player for Tyler Bertuzzi and the eighth overall pick in 2022 to the Detroit Red Wings. This is going to be interesting. All right, so now Detroit is up, and who would they select? Well, of course, they got Dylan Larkin at center, and now they just firmed up their center position by selecting Shane Wright. Yes, that's right. Shane Wright, who was the consensus number one for most of the year. But look at the history of excellence here. In 2019, CHL exceptional status. 2019, same year, OHL number one draft pick. In 2020, he was named the CHL number one rookie, and he's still ranked number one for North American prospects, and Craig Button has him at number one as well. If we look at his stats here, this past season and his draft eligible season, he had 63 games, 32 goals, 62 assists, and 94 points. Decent numbers, but I guess a lot of people wanted more out of him. Uh, he ended up with 1.49 points per game behind Steven Stamkos at 1.72 and ahead of Nick Suzuki at 1.48. However, in the second half of the season, he was on a 1.63 points per, per game pace. So, like I said, he finished off really strong. So now we got Shane Wright going to the Detroit Red Wings at number two. All right, number three, the Phoenix Coyotes. They kept their pick, and they're going to go with the dazzling Logan Cooley from the National Development Program. And he led the team in points per game with 1.47 points per game and also puts him in and around Cole Caulfield and Trevor Ziga. So some pretty good company there. And like I said, he's a dynamic player. And this is a great pickup for Arizona, who now has a couple of young studs and they got their centerman firmed up and to go along with Dylan Gunther. So pretty good pickup for the Arizona Coyotes. All right, at number four, Seattle Kraken. They had... Picked up Matty Berniers last year. They got their centerman fixed in. So they're going to go with a nice, beautiful skating defenseman, offensive defenseman in Simon Nemitz from Slovakia. Six foot one, 192 pounds, shoots right what every team wants. And he had some amazing numbers in the Slovak League. 26 points in 39 games as a teenager playing with men. And his .67 points per game were ahead of Brant Clark, who is a very good offensive defenseman. At number four, the Seattle Kraken select Simon Nemitz. The fifth selection of this draft, the Philadelphia Flyers. And they are in need of a couple of positions. But when you got a big, bruising defenseman by the name of David Yerichek, you're not going to pass him up. Six foot three, 190 pounds. He also shoots right from, the, from Czechia. And he put up some decent numbers in the top men's league, 11 points in 29 games. He sustained a knee injury at the World Juniors and was sidelined for most of the season, but he came back and played in the World Championships and did a really good job. And his .38 points per game is ahead of Martin Nekash, Ian Mishak. So, you know what? Ahead of some forwards during their draft eligible year. So pretty impressive numbers. And he goes to the Philadelphia Flyers at number five, David Yerichek. All right, moving on. The Columbus Blue Jackets. Who are they going to select? Well, they're going to select one of the top-rated prospects forwards in North America, Cutter Goche, six foot three, 194 pounds. And this kid can shoot the puck. What a release. Quick, fast, and accurate. Central Scouting, like I said, had him at number three. TSN Craig Button had him at number six. 
Sportsnet had him at 11, so he had some pretty high rankings. And he put up 65 points in 54 games. 34 of those were goals, so some pretty decent numbers with the National Development Program. And so he goes number six to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Number seven, the Ottawa Senators. They have some decent young talent with Brady Kachuk, Stutzle, Norris, Batherson, Shabbat on the point, Sanderson on the point. So what are they going to go with? Well, they're going to go with one of the best snipers in, in the draft, and that is Joachim Kemmel. NHL Central Scouting has him number two for international skaters. TSM Bob McKenzie had him at number three early on. FC Hockey at nine, Sportsnet at nine, and McKean's at six. This kid can shoot the puck. And if you look at his stats, every year he put up more goals and assists. So last year in the U-20, he had 38 games, 22 goals, 14 assists, 36 points. This year, playing in the top men's league in Finland, he had 39 games, 15 goals, 8 assists, and 23 points. He kind of slowed down the second half, but he still put up .59 points per game for the season, which is very impressive, just under Anton Lundell and ahead of Mikko Rantanen. So some pretty good company there. So he goes number seven to the Ottawa Senators, Joachim Kemmel. Number eight. So now New Jersey picks up that pick from Detroit. And who are they going to take? Well, they end up with a beautiful sniper in the name of Jonathan Lekaramaki from Sweden. He is 5'11", 172 pounds, shoots right, plays on the wing, and he had Seven goals, two assists, nine points in 26 games. Don't let that deceive you. 0.35 points per game were the best among all draft-eligible players ahead of Marco Casper. So some pretty decent numbers. And like I said, if we look at his points per game, the 0.35, he's just below Alexander Holtz of New Jersey and ahead of William Nylander and Lucas Raymond. So some pretty good company there, you have to admit. And he's a young forward, a July birth date. All right. Jonathan Lekaramaki at number eight. Number nine, the Buffalo Sabres with their first pick. They got a few picks in the first round, so who are they going to go with? Well, a firecracker by the name of Matthew Savoy from the WHL. And this kid put up some big numbers with the Winnipeg Ice. 65 games, 35 goals, 55 assists, 90 points. He had 1.39 points per game, which if you look at that, in his draft year, he's ahead of Matthew Barzell and Braden Point. Wow. Right behind Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Leon Dreisaitl. So, you know what? Some pretty good company right there. And he's super fast, can fly around there. The new NHL is built for his speed. Matthew Savoy, number nine to the Buffalo Savers. They're building something nice in Buffalo. All right. The last pick, number 10, the Anaheim Ducks. Who are they going to go with? Well, they got a couple of studs on defense by the name of Jamie Drysdale and Zellweger. And so they are going to stock up on the D. Drysdale and Zellweger are a little bit smaller, 5'11 and 5'9, I think. And so now we got a big bruising defenseman by the name of Kevin Korczynski. He's six foot two, 182 pounds, and he can put up some big numbers. Look at that, 65 points in 67 games. Wow. Second best among all CHL players, 0.97 points per game. So this kid can move the puck, 61 assists, amazing. He's really good at transitioning and very confident with the puck in his own zone. So he's a nice, big defenseman that can move the puck. Anaheim is going to love this kid. So he goes number 10 to the Anaheim Ducks. And that's it for the top 10 in this mock draft. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit the like button to keep the channel growing. Much appreciated and cheers.